Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you, Nelson? I'm fine. How are you, teacher? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Is it raining in your city? No, teacher. Nothing? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh. It you know, is boiling. <laughs> Me too. In my city, is it the same? But what happens is that in the afternoon, it was very cloudy. And I thought that it was about to rain, but nothing. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, that's pretty sad. But anyway, it's Tuesday. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. And thank you for the ones who has the camera on already. So, guys, I got some of your classmates. Oops. Um, some of your classmates I are sick, right? Some of your classmates got, I think Oscar still have her, his daughter a little bit sick. And Jasmine, I think she's in the hospital. So if you can send messages on the group, giving them like wishes, the better, the best wishes, it will be great, right? So if you can do it, do it. Okay, so you can send some messages to your classmates uh, because, I mean, they are facing difficult situation. Uh, Oscar's daughter is, is bad. So I'm not mother, no tengo hijos, right? Pero yo creo que esas son de las mayores preocupaciones para un padre. A, a los que son padres o madres saben lo que se siente. Así que, I mean, pueden enviarle sus wishes sus buenos deseos, al igual que Yasmin, I think she's in the hospital too. So if you can do it, do it. I mean, you can send some messages in order to help them para que ellos se sientan como un poquito animados, right? Que puedan um, sentirse que, que pues sí, que ahí estamos, right? Que ahí estamos, tal vez no presencial, pero que en cierta forma, right? Estamos preocupados por ellos y que les deseamos que, que pues que todo vaya bien. Así que Eh, hay que apoyarlos, okay? Así que if you can do it, it will be great. Now, eh, today, my gosh, where is everyone? I can see a few people today. Oh my goodness. Okay, but it's Tuesday. We are about to start a new topic. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Any idea? Do you remember a little bit? Uh huh. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. What do you remember? Yes, of course, teacher. The stock control and <laughs> inventory <laughs> management. <laughs> uh, very good. Exactly. Do you remember, guys, the different type of warehouse that we studied yesterday? Yes, a little. A little? Which ones? Maybe hold, holding warehouse. Holding warehouse, yes. What else? In mm -hmm. Center distribution or distribution center. Distribution center, very good. Uh huh. Anything else? What was the last one? The cross docking, cross docking the <laughs> when you don't need to storage, just the in and out the, the the things. Exactly, that's the one. Pretty good. Cross docking. <laughs> Cross docking something. Cross -docking. <laughs> no, cross docking center. No, 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 it's not center. Cross docking. Actually, it is. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's center. It's center. <laughs> oh, no. oh, center. Uh, yeah. No, because it's distributor center, cross docking center too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Both are centers. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, guys. I can see some of you remember the topics. 
Always, it is important, right? Try to review a little bit so you don't forget. Now, can you remember some of the vocabulary? Can you tell me some words that we studied yesterday? Oh, yes. <laughs> Inventory, stock, re replenish, replenish, I think. Replenish. Replenish or no, no, it's not replenish. Yeah, replenish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, expir expiring day, expiration date. Expiration um, date. Out of the season. Ah, very good. Oh, out, of season. out of the season. Uh -huh. um, rotten. Yes, really good. Um, A stock inventory, I remember. <laughs> oh okay, God. inventory management. Management. We got stock. Okay. Restock. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. What else? <laughs> I have to check my notes. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh -huh. Holman, how about you? Which one do you remember? Uh, I remember uh, who, who, who seller um, ma, man, margin, management, manager, management, who seller. Okay. <laughs> and something and something like that. <laughs> it's Polish. It's Polish. Ah, it's a very, very good. Yeah, it's Polish. <laughs> Polish. And irrelevant it's is the both. Polish, yeah. It's irrelevant. Polish and irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pretty good. So remember, every guy, um, let's try to remember always the vocabulary, try to review. Because here in the class, you can memorize the vocabulary here in the class. But if for the next day you don't review the vocabulary, you will forget. I mean, you will forget it. If you imagine that we studied the vocabulary on Monday, for today, some of you still remember. But what will happen for Fridays? Do you think that you will still remember the vocabulary until Friday if you don't review it? Hmm, possibly not, right? So we need to try to always review it. It's difficult, I know. So that's why always at least five minutes, guys. If you take five minutes during the day just to read the vocabulary, that is going to help you to memorize it, all right? So try to do it, please. Now, let me start. We are going to check the presentations for today. Let me share it. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. yes. All right, so today is June 6th, okay? We are in the week four. We are studying the unit number three. This is the topic for today. We are going to identify common issues related to warehouse processes, okay? And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Hey, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. A participant will be able to earn words and phrases related to leadership and being a manager. Thank you. Very good. So <clears throat> if you remember yesterday, <clears throat> sorry, I, I'm a little sore throat. Okay. So yesterday I asked you if you would like to be a manager. Do you remember? Yes. <laughs> and some of you say yes. Some of you said that is a good position because you will earn more money. Some of you said like, it will be difficult, right? It's a very delicate job. But today we are going to check some phrases and vocabulary related to leadership 
and being a manager, okay? But first, let's see if you remember the topics that we studied yesterday. Talking about warehouse management, this is the vocabulary that we studied. So let's see, I will ask him individually. Hmm, let me pick someone. Let me start with Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Tell me, Ivan, what is the meaning of out of season? What is that? Out of, Not out the of translation. Season. Not the translation. The meaning, con sus propias palabras, with your own words. Okay, I will try it. Mm -hmm. The out of seasons is uh, the, the Thai products, the, the other season. Uh, for example? For example, uh, the dress, the dress, the, the wings, or dress, the... Um, ah, no. I no no the out of season is is the tie the 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 how do you say moda fashion the fashions right the fashions only mm. so out of season is fashion fashions are uh, and. Um, the tie the 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 weathers the weather yeah hmm. the weather or the season a season weather uh -huh. the season the season right thank you okay so everybody can you give me examples of out of season what do you think yesterday we talked about the um, Holiday, Christmas season, Easter season, and summer season. Exactly. And Mother's Day, Father's Day is coming. <laughs> yes. Imagine if you go to some supermarkets, they still have some decorations for Mother's Day. Okay. So what happens with those decorations, they are out of season because it is not Mother Day anymore, right? So out of season is when something, it, is, it doesn't belong to this currently season, okay? Now let's see, Ivan, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. The big thing. <laughs> big thing. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Um, let me see. Holman. All right. Hello, Holman. All right. Okay, Holman. What is the meaning of rotten? Um. Rotten. I don't remember the check, but I can I can say other other. Okay, which one? Pick one. Uh, um, For example, stock. What is uh, stock? stock. Stop um, when there are uh, product, for example, uh, I have a, a store, a clothes, clothes store, mm -hmm. and I, I have a new product, uh, for example, new, new t-shirt design okay and there there are a lot of, a lot of of the 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 new t-shirts 
I have a stock. Mm, actually, that's a good example. Very good. Remember, guys, that stock is all the merchandise that you have. Okay, pretty good. Okay, Holman, pick someone, please. Mirna. Okay, Mirna, what is the meaning of rotten? Rotten, the meaning is when you have, when you have a product uh, that will be from some expiring and you have to, you have to sell and um, soon as possible because <laughs> they, they may be, they, the product may be, um, when they expire and they maybe they is polish or of something like that. And you have to rotten the, the product, for example, in the, the, the more common is in the perecederos. Ah, <laughs> okay. Perishable? Perishable. <laughs> I forgot every time <laughs> this word, sorry. Perishable, yeah. You have to rotten the fruit. It, it's common in the in food. You have to rotten where very quickly because the 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 expiration day is is short is short very time good so imagine if my food is rodent already can i eat it or not what do you think sorry miss i can hear you if if my food is rodent already can i eat it yes or no Yes. No, mm, actually, we can't. Just oh, imagine. It can't. Uh huh. Imagine that I have a mango, a yeah. rotten mango. Can I eat it? No, teacher. No, no right? Is it's not good anymore. If you eat it, you will get sick. Okay. Very good. So those are some of the meanings of the words that we studied yesterday. If you don't remember, try to review them. Okay. During the week, I can continue asking the meaning for these words. Okay. So be careful. Now, yesterday we studied the meaning of warehouse management. Remember that they have the control of all the activities that happens inside of the warehouse. Do you remember the meaning for day-to-day -day operations? Day-to-day, -day. what is that? Meaning every day. Correct, very good. So all of these activities happened every single day. This is like when we say daily, right? Now, we were checking the difference between warehouse management and stock control. What was stock control? Do you remember? Yes, the second one is the stock control. Ah, very good. So stock control, remember we are talking about the day explain when you need to order more product. And the warehouse management, they only put the places somewhere, but they don't have like, like a very specific inventory control. All right, very good. Then we studied the type of warehouse. Pay attention here because right now we are going to use this information. The first type was holding warehouse what was the meaning of holding warehouse what is the characteristic of this warehouse what do you think what do you remember space okay the space, space. is small or is huge it's huge, huge. okay huge space. yeah huge space what else they keep the, the product for a long, a long time. Ah, very good. The product 
can be there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And what happens with the cost? The cost is expensive. It's expensive, yes. that's correct. So yeah, those are the main characteristics of holding warehouse, okay? Now, what was the second one? Distributor center. Distributor center. Correct. And what is the characteristic of this one? The space is small. The space is small. How much time does the product stay there? Fast. A little bit. Exactly. Very the fast. period. The period of time is very short, right? So because the period is short what happens with the money reduce the cost exactly the cost is cheaper okay how about cross docking center what is the characteristic of this one it's a like a bridge ah. and the truck and the other truck Exactly. So does the product stay here in the center? Yes or no? Yes. No. Um, Not really. Just for hours, maybe. <laughs> maybe for hours could be, but remember that most of the time they are just like a bridge. The truck arrives, the other truck is already waiting for them. So they just connect each other, but the product doesn't stay there. That is the characteristic for cross docking center. Pretty good. Now, there we got some uh, definitions. Yesterday we studied this one. So let's see if you remember holding warehouse. Do you remember what was it? The yeah, second one, traditional second warehouse. One. Correct. Mm -hmm. The traditional warehouse. Remember, in this case, they have a lot of space. The product can be there for a long term. Distribution center, do you remember that one? And the, the last one. The last one. The, the last servers one. larger regions mm -hmm. and goods. What is the period of time? Shorter, shorter time. time shorter so the product so, doesn't stay there so long maybe one day or some hours but it's pretty short and cross docking what is that the first one yes so Master, remember mm -hmm. storage. it's just a terminal, terminal. Right, they just receive the products and immediately they send it again. Look, they don't have storage. So, is it clear the meaning for the three different types of warehouse that we have? Absolutely. Ah, really good. And everybody, how about you? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. yes, teacher, it's clear. Ready for the exam? Not no. yet. Ah, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we are not ready. Ah, very good. Yeah, we are going to have a practice now. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego, are you there? Okay. Um, Christian Alexander? Christian, no? Okay. Um, well, Erika is not here. Herman Alexander? Present teacher. Okay. Me, um, teacher. Oh, yes, sorry. Fatima Denise, thank you. Present. Yes. Um, Hector Francisco, I think he's not there either, right? My goodness. Um, Isabel Hernandez. 
Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Uh, Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Uh, he's listener, right? Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Um, Oscar Armando is not here either. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, very good. Oh my gosh, so we are few today. <laughs> All right, yeah, I know. So today we got a lot of people with some emergencies. Okay, I totally understand, guys. Believe me, I do. So if you cannot be in the class, I always recommend you to stay at least as a listener, okay? Para que Zoom les cuente los minutos, okay? But I know that there are some extreme scenarios, like when you got some emergency or you are at the hospital, I mean, I know that is almost impossible, okay? So, but if you can do it, always try. Now, exam, yes? Ready? Speaking Maybe evaluation. another time. <laughs> okay, something good, Ivan, is that you are using the expressions. You see, very good for you. All right, we are going to have a presentation. Okay, we are going to work, it says in pairs, but we are going to do it in teams, okay? I wanted to describe or pick the best type of warehouse in case that you have your own business. So imagine that you have your business and you need a warehouse. I want you to explain which is the best warehouse for your business. Do you need a holding warehouse? Why? Do you need a distribution center? Yes, no, and why? Uh, imagine that you have your business and you have some problems. Do you need a cross docking center? Yes or no? And you have to explain the reason why. I will give you an example, okay? Imagine guys that I have my company and in my company, we manufacture furniture. Do you know what furniture is? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. so is it? What is it? S sofas, bed, and... Mm -hmm. and... Exactly. Los muebles, yeah. right? Yeah, dining room. <laughs> or exactly. Closet. Living room. Yeah, yes. everything, right? So we manufacture furniture. Right now, my company has a big problem, okay? Because I need huge space to storage my product, okay? Sometimes I don't sell my products as fast as I wanted. So I need to keep my furniture in a very safe place. And I think that I need a lot of time. I don't know exactly how much time. So according to this example, what type of warehouse do I need? What do you think? Holding warehouse. Ah, okay. Holding warehouse. Why? Why do you think that I need a holding warehouse? In, the, in this case, the company needs, mm -hmm. a, needs a, a huge space. Mm -hmm. uh, many products, the, the different furnitures, mm -hmm. and the other characteristics, the, the examples, the, uh, the customer says uh, no need sell products. Pass. 
so imagine I don't sell the product so fast. So do you think that my product will be at the warehouse for short period of time or long period of time? Long time. Long period of time. So in this case, the best option is a holding warehouse. Okay, so that is exactly what I want you to do. Think about your business. I mean, invent, of course. You had to explain if your business has some issues or not. And tell me what kind of warehouse works better for you. So if you think that it's better the distribution center, okay, explain me why. Another example, imagine if my company manufactures, instead of furniture, imagine that we manufacture some food. Do you think that holding, holding warehouse is the best option? I'm talking about food. No, you have to. Dep depends. Imagine. Imagine that I have fresh food like vegetables, mm. some fruits. In this case, not really. No, right? Because remember, no. in this case, I cannot keep the food in the storage for a long time. So if I have different supermarkets and I need to move the food, what will be the best option? What do you think? Mm, distribution centers a distribution center pretty good because if you see in this scenario you don't have to keep this uh, all this food for a long time it's just very short and the money in this scenario is cheaper okay so that is what i want you to do think about a business and tell me what type of warehouse do you need to use and tell me the reasons why. Is it clear the activity? Yes, everyone? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes. Yes, everybody, yes. are you sure? Right now. Yes. <laughs> A ver, ¿quién me explica, please? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Explain me. Ajá. Uh -huh. With your own words. My own words. Yeah. We have to create a company and we, need, and we have to decide which, which, uh, uh, which um, warehouse we need to, to, to keep the, our product safe and Yes, exactly like that. Pretty good. So, solo recuerden, guys, tienen que explicarme the reason why. I'm not asking to create a PowerPoint presentation, okay? No, pero sí quiero que todos los members of the group pay attention, everybody participates. And when you present the information, I can ask anyone in the group. So everybody has to be ready, okay? Clear? All right. I already sent the instructions on WhatsApp's groups. We are going to be working in teams of three, okay? I know that there are some listeners, so I think that some of you will be working with some classmates that are listeners. So if you are along or if your classmates are not participating, just let me know, please. Uh, give me a second, I'm creating the groups. Okay, one second, one second. 
Okay, because of the amount of people, I think that we will be in group of, some groups will be four, some group will be three, okay? So everybody, let's go to work. Everybody participates, please, and zero Spanish. Let's go to work. Hi, Adriana. How are Hello, you? Hello, partners. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Ivan. Hi, Rosalina. How are you? You. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's your internet. No? no, maybe you have a problem with your internet. No. Me? Yes. yes. It's raining right now. Oh, yeah. But it's nice for the diamond. Yeah, yeah, of course. Today is very, very hot all day. The Russian people, Petrovich. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yes, it is always cold. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> they are, Ivan is in front of the, the, the lake. It's oh, really it's really nice weather. Oh. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, all the time you you, you feel <laughs> fresh. <laughs> yes, yes. Right now, listen. Yes. It's raining. Yes. Raining. It's raining. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it's what better it for the weather. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The best weather. Yeah. The best weather. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the topic. But we have to do the presentation about the our product or our mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. Any idea that what kind of product we will sell. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe we can be a supermarket? No. It's supermarket. Uh -huh. It's no? in general. The supermarket is in general, like a uh, Walmart or, uh -huh. or Dollar City. <laughs> Dollar City. Mm. Ah. Yeah, it we we will we will sell that every kind or all kind that, that product because in mm -hmm. the supermarket we will sell that all, all kind of, or type the, the product yes no mm -hmm. specific product or only what one do product you think? or several products okay what, what do you think eva any idea mm, any other no idea sé. something something easy no no <laughs> don't complicate yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay all right the supermarket is the really okay. Is the supermarket is very easy. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, easy. <laughs> but maybe um, the name. Yeah, the supermarket. We organic uh, products. Organic products. On supermarket. Ah, yeah, products. maybe. Yeah, the product Modern that they... maybe okay. use a. Yesterday I, I didn't come to class, but so, so I understand that topic. Okay, supermarket and the product is organic product. You agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. But maybe mm -hmm. just fruits and vegetables huh? or or uh, or or different kinds of organic products. Um Maybe I see. fruit and vegetable is okay yeah. because it's an specific. It's, mm -hmm. it's similar to the example that Adriana told. I I think I think I think so. The the common products in the supermarket, uh, mm -hmm. now uh, vegetable, fruit, uh, clothes, seed. Uh, the organic yes. maybe uh, sell ah, a lot of seeds. Yeah. Only organic products. No, yeah, no, it's, it's idea. No, it's, it's, it's yes, but the idea is that the supermarket sell or organic products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Organic it's products. An organic, fruits, it's vegetables. an organic supermarket. <laughs> yeah, it's an organic supermarket. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now it's really common. It's uh, yes. something that is famous. Right now in our country, yes. yes. 
lots yes. of yes. Seed is correct. Yeah, it's semillas yeah. or yeah. Okay. I think yes. Also, okay. in another places, you can find. Um, okay. So. It's good option. Sorry, Alma. It's it's good option for me. Yes, I think it's an option. Okay. But um, the exam, the example say the the create. A company. I don't know. Yes, create a company. Mm. In this case, which company uh, or company was snacks, snacks company? Shoes. Uh, sneakers. Yes, sneakers. Why? Okay, guys, don't complicate too much. So, first of all, think about a company. What will be your company about? Are you going to have a company for food? Clothes, shoes, um, electronic devices, or what else? Any other kind of product? What kind of product or what's your company about? Coleman say we have a company that distributes shoes. Shoes? Yes, sneakers. Ah, okay, sneakers. Pretty good. Now you have to decide which warehouse will be better for you and explain the reason why. Simple, okay? Okay. Pretty good. Remember, I will need you the reason. Si me dicen que distribution channel, okay, tell me the reason why. Don't forget that, okay? For shoes, we we can we can choose the holding the holding warehouse. If the product maybe for uh, for one uh, one week or twice a week, not for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. This is, this is, uh, it's different. Okay, I understand that. Thank you. And and I think we can use that strategy of or of warehouse. And because we need to sell the produce as fast as we can. <laughs> yes. Okay. Distribution center, okay. Teacher uh, um in our group uh right now we can do a, a powerpoint no but... it doesn't matter ah okay yeah don't guys i'm not asking you to do a, a, a presentation no but i need to everybody be able to answer okay 
Because I can ask, for example, in the moment to present, I can ask Nelson, or I can ask you, Natalie, or I can ask Jamie, I don't know. So everybody needs to know the information. So what you can do is to write in your notebook, okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, Natalie. Okay. I think, I, I think, in this, in this case, we need to use holding warehouse. Holding it's warehouse. Yes, it because we don't know how time we have problem with with the weather. Okay, I I need to to take notes for. Okay, and these three, what 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 the strategy? Sorry. Okay, uh, we sell no we make teacher. Sorry. Yes, teacher tell can, me. Uh, to say que nosotros hacemos, we can say we make or we make. It depends the action. If you are creating or manufacturing, you say we make. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We 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 have our our own company. Mm -hmm. So we create our own product. In this case, jacket, t-shirt, and pant. Mm, okay. So we. We can use, we make. Yes, totally, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you get idea, Natalie? Uh, we, we make um, what kind of food that you said? The products uh, are uh, jacket. Ah, okay, jacket. Um, yeah, jacket, t-shirt. Ah, okay, like, like like clothes, clothes in yeah. general. Yeah. Ah, I I I was taking in my mind the food manufacturing company, but okay. No, no clothes. Okay. Clothes. Okay, we okay. Okay. Okay, uh, jacket. T-shirt and pant. Okay. Okay, and after that, we need to export our product. Mm -hmm. Okay, imagine that that we need to export that product today, but the, the, we have problem with, with the weather. Ah, okay. It's raining a lot of, and we have problems to export our product today. And maybe we don't know what what time is we during the 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 raining. Okay. I don't know how to say temporal teacher. In this case, you mean when it is raining a lot? Yes, of course. Rainy season. Rainy season. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, Natalie. We have problem but with rainy season. Okay. And so, so we need to save our product in a in a warehouse. Okay. And we need to save for a long time because of the weather. We don't know when finish the season weather. So it's necessary to save in a few warehouse for a long time. Okay? Okay. 
coffee. Mm -hmm. This is the, the kind or the type that we, we produce. Uh, we in, are selling in, this. In Selecto say gourmet place. Gourmet. And put, uh, and yes, put correct. products without, um, uh, yeah, do you, do you know that place? It's expensive, yeah. product, but it's fashion Maybe. right now. Use. What do you consume. think if we if we put gourmet supermarket? Because we can have another yeah. another kind of products, not only yeah. organic products. Yes, yes. Yeah. And we have yeah. a, a large yeah. uh, like a, kind of product. Uh -huh. Gourmet supermarket. How do you say? Gourmet supermarket. Gourmet supermarket. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. A fast <laughs> supermarket. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's the name of the supermarket. Gourmet. Gourmet <laughs> supermarket. supermarket. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. I liked it. So, ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. All right. That's the attitude. I'm going to check one more group. And if they are ready, we are going to go back to the main room. Remember, okay. I can ask anyone in the group. So everybody has to be ready to answer the questions. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hi, everyone. Are you ready? Uh, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Remember, I can ask anyone in the group okay so everybody has to be ready to answer the questions okay well if you're ready everybody let's go back to the main room okay oh, let's go okay. okay time's up Let's wait for your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Let's go back, everyone. All right, all right, very good. Okay, I'm waiting for everybody. Some of the groups are still in the breaking rooms. Okay, pretty good job. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh huh. Easy or difficult the activity? What do you think? 50 50. 50 50, okay. And you guys, what do you think? Is that easy or not? A little bit complicated. It's a little bit. Okay. So imagine, let's pretend, guys, that in this moment, you are the supervisors. So as a supervisor, you need to make these kind of decisions, right? So let's see, let's start with the presentation. I'm going to listen to the team number one. In the team number one, I had Lucy Natalie and I have Nelson Antonio. Only you two guys in that group? Yes? Yes. Okay, pretty good. Okay, Natalie and Nelson, uh, I will let you be volunteer because you were just you too. Um, can you explain me guys, what was your business about? Okay, teacher. Uh, we have our, our own manufacturing. Uh -huh. We make a teacher jacket and pants for for to export another country or downtown mm, okay the thing of the need 
Okay, that sounds good. I like that. So in this case, Natalie, explain me what kind of warehouse do you need and why? We need to um, use the warehouse, warehouse strategy of holding warehouse. And that is because for that scenario is the better strategy for have a lot of product for a long time. So you need to keep your product in a warehouse for a long time. Yeah. Hmm, okay, why? You don't have a space in your own company? And no, that is, that is because the kind of product that we have, that is a closed company. Mm -hmm. And if we have a problems like uh, the weather, like a rainy, rainy uh, weather, mm -hmm. we, we can uh, protect and hold a lot of products that we, we need for that, um, for that kind of weather, like a rainy. You know? Ah, all right. So basically you want to keep all your product safe, totally safe. Yes, thank you. Ah, very good, excellent. So guys, do you agree with the team number one? Do you think that for their business, is that the best option, holding warehouse? What do you think? Yes or no? Anyone? I think it's a large production. Maybe they have that space for the inventory. Mm -hmm. Very good. And remember in this case, if they are talking about the rainy season, is that a short period of time or a long period of time? Okay. Long period. We have uh, a rainy season. Ah, for so, rainy season. Yes, and so we don't we don't know when we finish the the rainy season. Very good. Okay, so imagine they need a lot of space. They don't know exactly for how much time they will have the product in that warehouse. So holding warehouse sounds like a good plan. Very good. Thank you, team number one. Excellent job. I liked it, excellent. Okay, team number two. In the team number two, I had a Fatima, Herman, and Holman. All right, let me start asking to, 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 to Holman. <laughs> okay, Holman, what is the company about? Only that, what is the company about? Uh... Our, our company is a sneaker, sneaker store. Okay. Do you manufacture the sneakers or do you just sell them? I uh, just sell, buy and sell. Like a, a retail. Like a retail store? Yes, it's. Ah, okay, interesting. Okay, Herman, tell me what kind of a uh, warehouse do you need? But don't tell me why, only the type of warehouse. Warehouse uh, handling. Which one? Handling. handling. Handling warehouse, yes. Oh, holding, you mean holding? Holding. Ah, okay, holding warehouse. Okay, and Fatima, why? Why the holding warehouse? Because for the shoes, we need a huge space. Mm -hmm. Space, sorry. Uh, because we need to save the inventory when having space in the storage in the malls. Also, the shoes have an expiration date. Mm -hmm. It's for this reason we can save the sneakers in the storage. Mm, okay, sounds good. Um, do you know how much time the sneakers will be there? Uh, no, it depends the the money and the people <laughs> buy the 
the sneakers. Ah, so you see guys, they don't know it exactly. It could be short or it can be a long period of time. So in this group, it's kind of the same as the previous one. So the best option is a holding warehouse. That's good, very nice. Thank you, team. So team number one and team number two, what do you think, guys? Will they pay a lot of money? Yes or no? Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. So team number one and team number two, they have money, guys. They have a lot of <laughs> money to pay holding warehouse. <laughs> Very good job. Okay, excellent. The, the profit, maybe the profit, their product is higher. It's very uh, high. Yeah, it's very yeah high. exactly. So guys, recommendation, camera on, please. Some people just entered to verify the class and you have the camera off, my gosh. Be careful, all right? Now, in the team number three, I have Adriana, I had Ivan, Mirna and Rosalina, okay? Let's see, I'm going to ask to Rosalina, what is the company about? Why me? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's it's because, a... because you had the camera off, that's why. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a gourmet supermarket. A gourmet supermarket? Yep. Oh, that sounds interesting. Ivan, explain me what is that? What is a gourmet supermarket? It's a new concept. Oh. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Give me more, give me more. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the gourmet uh, supermarket is uh, uh, or, or sells or sell uh, products organized. Organized. Organized products. Organic. Ah, organic. organic. Excuse me, organic. <laughs> organic. Organize, organ. <laughs> <laughs> organize is an adjective. Okay, organic products uh, can you give me examples rosalina what kind of products are uh, those for example, sales coffee or sales yeah sales organic sales coffee. or seeds no seeds excuse ah. me seeds. <laughs> seeds, organic okay. coffee and vegetable mm -hmm. um, something like that <laughs> i don't okay. remember the other Root. Fruits. Fruits. Yeah, fruits. Ah, yeah. okay. Interesting. Mm. Ah, jams. 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 Okay. Hmm. Okay. Sounds interesting. Organic supermarket. I've never heard about it, but I liked it. Mirna, <laughs> tell me what kind of warehouse do you need? But don't tell me why. Adriana is going to explain us why. Go okay. ahead. Okay. <laughs> we need the distributor center. Distribution center. Okay. Distribution center. So, team, you are different. Okay. So, Adriana, tell us why. We believe that we need this kind of warehouse because our products are perishable, and also the products um, need to be sold in a short period of time. So, uh, we don't need a a warehouse for a long time, and also. Uh, because we have different kind of products, uh, we can use it in a better way than in another warehouse. And also we need uh, to deliver these products to another branches because we are not only one um, branch, we have uh, different kinds and different ah. locations. So yeah. it's, very, it's a very good option. It's a good ah. option. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Mirna, do you have different branches in only here in the country or in another country too? No, only here in the country, in the same country, but we have uh, 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 some branches and we need to deliver in the, from our distributor center. Okay, guys. Okay, I liked it. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I liked it. Nice analysis, very good. You are more than ready to be supervisors and managers. I like that, very good job, I liked it. So if you see, that's the way that we can identify what kind of warehouse do we need 
depending of the type of companies that we are working on. If you need a lot of space for a long time and you have a lot of money, holding warehouse. If you want to reduce the cost, you are not going to use it for a long time. You don't need a lot of space. Mm -hmm. So distribution center. And none of the teams use the third one, the cross docking. Remember in that case, guys, it's just for a bridge. You don't need to storage the product in that center. You just need to connect, okay? Pretty good job. Now, little observations. I think that the most important observation is this one. For to export. This is one of the most common guys. Sometimes we put together these prepositions for to. Ah, this is for to, we also say for to buy or for to keep. Can I say that? What do you think? Or to it, no, not really, no, right? No, 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 necessary. In this case, guys, when you are talking about a purpose, because if I say for to export, estoy explicando un propósito. ¿Cuál es el propósito aquí? Export. Export. What is the purpose here? Buy. Buy. Here. Keep. If you want to express a purpose, you will use the preposition to. This is as in Spanish, cuando decimos para, para exportar. How can I say that? To export. Ah, tengo 100 dólares para comprar un teléfono. How can I say that? To buy. buy. To buy. To buy a new cell phone. Okay? Tengo que terminar la plataforma para pasar de nivel. How can I say that? It's impossible. Ah, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, to you have to finish your <laughs> We need to finish the platform to pass to the next level. So, si queremos decir ese típico Para, para esto, para hacer lo otro, we use the preposition to. Okay? Only, only uh, that is purpose. When we are expressing purpose, exactly. Okay? Si queremos only explicar, purpose. for example, imagine que yo compré una laptop. Okay? I have a laptop. Why? Why did you buy a laptop? What do you think? What is the best option? Ah, work. for work or to work? To work. To work. The to best work. option is to work. Okay, so for, mm -mm, for is not for this scenario, guys. Okay, for most of the time we can use for when we talk about people. Okay, I buy, oh well, I bought a laptop for my kids, for example. Ah, I have a new car for my family. <laughs> so for, it's more used um, when we are mentioning the person, not the purpose, the person. person. And animal too. Yeah, animals too. Imagine, ¿y para qué trabajan, guys? I, I work for my dog. <laughs> para darle una vida mejor. Ahí ya usamos el to. To give him a better life. So look at the difference. People or person or animal and purpose. Got I it? didn't know that. Uh huh. What do you say? Okay. And there's two, two uses for, for the purpose. Purpose, yes. Purpose. Mm -hmm. And exactly. for is, uh, is, uh, is the most personal. It's followed by people, uh huh, for the person, for 
even animals. What you have to keep in mind is, si vamos a explicar un purpose, normalmente lo hacemos con un verb. Entonces usamos la preposition to. Mm. Okay? ¿Se entiende? Is it clear this part? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So be careful with that. Now, you already explained in a very good way the presentation. You are more than ready to be managers. So let's learn a little bit some vocabulary related to leadership and management. Okay, let's pretend that you are becoming managers in your company. Okay, I have here different phrases. So I want you to tell me which one do you like the best or which one do you think is better than the other ones and tell me why. I need a volunteer please for reading the first one. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest thing. He is the one that gets the people to do the greatest thing. Okay, who said that? Ronald Reagan. All right. What do you think about this phrase, guys? Do you think that Ronald Reagan was right when he said this phrase? What do you think? Uh huh. Do you agree with him? Yes, I agree with him. Yes, because yes. he said that. He okay. Say okay. that they get the people to do the great things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? Do you agree with that? I agree because he's uh, the way person. He's a leader. A leader. Mm -hmm. Uh, that gets the people do the great things. Pretty good. So imagine if you are a good leader, you will help people, right? That the people do great things. So it makes a lot of sense. Pretty good. Okay. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the second phrase or the second quote. Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. The key to successful leadership is influence, not authority. Kenneth Blanchard. Thank you. What about this phrase? Is it correct? Do you agree with it or totally. not at all? Totally agree with ah. Kenneth. Absolutely, absolutely agree. It's a, it's a philosoph philosophy. A philosophy? Philosophy? It's a philosophy. Good. A not good authority. Mm. I like it. I like it. <laughs> no, not authority is uh, is uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So, as a supervisor, guys, do you think that you can apply this code to your work? Yes, at this time, yes, I think that the authority is all all fashion or. Old metal, old metal that method, uh -huh. method, yeah, old metal. Now they, the leadership is more influencer or, or maybe they are more accessible to to people. Mm -hmm. They connect. I think it's in my opinion, but I, I, in in my case, yes, the, the the my boss, for example, is is like an influencer, not authority. That's great, good for you. Excellent, excellent. Herman, were you saying something? Yes, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the correct pronunciation for, uh, sometimes I hear the or da. Oh, that's guys, it depends, right? When we have the article, normally we say the, like that pronunciation, like D, when the next word is to start with a vowel. For example, if I have apple, we say the apple, yeah. because the idea is to link the sound. The apple, the a, uh, the apple. For example, but, in the house. Oh, in, the house in, is, in this case, with, uh, 
when we next word start with a consonant, we pronounce it like the. In this case, house, for example. What is the sound? Is a vowel sound or is a consonant sound? House. Consonant sound. So, exactly. Consonant. So if we have consonant, in this case, most of the time we prefer to pronounce it like the, the house. If I have, for example, car, what will be the pronunciation? The car. The, the, the car. If I have um, um, airport, oops. The airport. The airport. Okay. So that is basically like the common rule. This is not in the grammar books, actually, because this is like, depending on the situation, is not a very strict rule, but this is something that we learn by imitating uh, American people, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so number three, volunteer for reading, please. Me teacher. Yes, go ahead. There is a difference between being a leader and being a boss. Both are based on authority. A boss demands blind obedience. A leader earns authority through understanding and truth. All right, what do you think about this phrase? So there is a difference between boss and leader. Do you agree, guys? Yes, yes. I agree. yes, of course. Imagine if you are a manager, do you prefer to be a boss or a leader? A leader, a leader. is the best option. Ah, now think about your supervisor. Is your supervisor a leader or a boss? Hmm. It depends. <laughs> it depends. It depends the time of the... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. no, maybe there, is a, a there, there is a super person. It's a... Okay. <laughs> How do you say? Uh, I, I forget. <laughs> okay. Some of them... Remember that sometimes we have more than one supervisor. Right? So some of them are leaders. Some of them are like boss, right? So which of these sentences or which of these quotes do you like more? In the last one, the, the, the phrase, the Klaus Bal, 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 Bal hole, something mm -hmm. like that. The last the, one is like the best for you? Yeah, it's the, the phrase, a boss demands blind obedience. Is, obedience? Uh, interest. Obedience, interest. Mm -hmm. So imagine a boss says, hey, Ivan, you have to do this even if you don't want to. <laughs> they don't explain the reason why you have to do that. They just says, do it and you have to do it, right? On the other hand, a leader, no, right? They earn the authority. So they give you the reason, they explain. So they, they, most of the time, they explain everything. So because of the trust, because of the good relationship is that you decide to obey, but not because of the use of the authority, okay? And you, everybody, which one do you think that is the best? One, two, or three? In my three. opinion, t-shirt too. <laughs> In your opinion too? Okay. Yes, because it's a short phrase and it's very clear because the leadership is uh, the leadership is an influence, not authority. It's very short and, and it's clear the, the the message that you have that you want to 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 see or you want to translate for others. I think that is for me, in my opinion, is Mm -hmm. is the best and you guys imagine you as a supervisor which of these phrases will you apply 
in your day to day? What do you think? Uh huh. Or oh, you don't want to be supervisors? Oh my gosh. Only Ivan and Mirna wants to be supervisors. Come on. <laughs> so we get different phrases, right? All of them shows that it's better to be a leader than a boss, okay? So let's find out some characteristics about leaders. I have here different uh, adjectives. Some of them are positive. Some of them are negatives. So let's analyze them. Which of these adjectives do you think that are positive in a leader? Flexible. Flexible, yes. Competent. Competent. Mm -hmm. Controlling. Empathic. Empathic. Empathetic. Empathetic. Controlling. Controlling. No, no, it's no. negative. No, it's negative. It's that it's sounds negative. a little bit negative. Yes. What's the meaning? Is uh, dismissive? The dismissive, missive. Where is it? Dismissive. Oh, dismissive. Missive. Dismissive. Have you ever heard that word before, everyone? No. Me no. It's my first time. In this case. <laughs> Mm, how can we say this? I don't want to translate it, but I don't find the way to explain that. This is just like cuando decimos bien despectivo, right? It's a person that says everything directly with any kind of empathy, right? So we say, ay, esta persona es bien despectiva para decir las cosas, right? So or another translation could be like bien despreciativo. Realmente no sé si podemos usar ese adjective in Spanish, like despreciativo, pero it's a person that says things, but sin nada de amor, right? Do you know someone like that? Que dicen las cosas así como que te duelan, right? No le ponen anestesia, no le ponen nada de amor. It's just that I'm worthy, say my, my, I'm worthy, I'm worthy. Rusty. Uh huh, or a very yeah, tough. Rusty. It's very similar to tough person. So sometimes this can be considered like a rude person too. That is the meaning of dismissive. Okay, okay thank you. So do you think that dismissive is positive or negative? Negative. Negative. <laughs> 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 <Right>? <laughs> So we got negative. What are another words? Tell me the positive and the negatives. What do you think? Likeable, maybe it's positive. Likeable. Likeable. Like do you know like what likeable is? No. Kind of friendly. Yes, exactly. This is a person that is very sympathetic we say that right very friendly mm -hmm. it's a very nice person so likable so what about controlling what is controlling positive or negative negative ne negative. Negative. negative so guys if you are a supervisor don't be so controlling okay uh, okay we got different ones um, arrogant. Negative. 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 Totally. Do you know some people or some arrogant people? Yes. The boss is when you are a boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you are not leader. leader. When you are a boss, yeah. not a leader, you yes, can be arrogant. Are, are, yes. Okay. And decisive. Negative. It's negative. Negative. Do you consider yourself as indecisive person? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you guys? 
maybe when we have to decide both something <laughs> like important decisions yeah <laughs> imagine when when they say okay where do you want to eat or what do you want to yeah. eat yeah <laughs> yeah when you like, when you don't have the the idea clear on your mind yeah <laughs> maybe you have maybe you, you will okay. be like this is <laughs> perfect Okay, we got the next one. Courageous. 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 Possible. Positive. And what is the meaning of that? Uh, selection, courage. Mm -hmm. It's a person to push you to do your best, right? For example, imagine that you say, I know, I can't, I cannot do that. But your leader says, hey, no, come on, you can do it. You are very smart. You have a lot of good qualities. So, ¿qué está haciendo ahí? He is pushing you. He is encouraged you. So, courage mm -hmm. is a very positive adjective. Okay, mm -hmm. self-assured. Have positive. you ever heard that word? And what is that? No idea. No, no. idea. <laughs> self-assured is like confidence for example if i say guys are you ready for the exam and you say yes teacher absolutely <laughs> so that shows confidence okay so is that positive or negative positive. totally are you self-assured Of course. <laughs> and we Sometime. Like, Sometime. <laughs> okay. Sometime. <laughs> so guys, let's try to be self-assured. Now, we have another word that also start with self, but now is self-centered. Have you ever heard that word before? No, but I think that in Spanish is egocentric or no. no yes, it's not actually. No. That's the one, yes. Self-centered. So self-centered is positive or negative? Negative. N negative. Negative. Yeah. Are you self-centered? No, no, teacher. <laughs> I hope yeah, so. I hope so, okay? Don't be like that, okay? We need to be humble. Do you know what humble is? Humble. Yes, humble. Uh -huh. humble. Very humble. good. So. Let's be humble. And then we have stubborn. Stumble. 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 <laughs> stumble. What the meaning of stumble? I don't know what the meaning is. Stumber. Stubborn. Stumble. Well, it can have different meanings depending on the intention that you have. Because stubborn can be translated as a rebel person, right? Or a person, we can translate it like a person who doesn't follow advice because mm. they consider that they are smart enough. They don't need advice. So no, I will do it in my way. Okay? Okay. So for example, <laughs> I don't want to talk about politics, but some people think that our president is a little, well, not a little, but a lot stubborn <laughs> right so because they want to do the things that he wants the way that he wants and doesn't matter if people give him some advice it doesn't matter i'm going to do it in my way so is that something positive or negative 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 right it's, it's like a dictador entonces <laughs> um okay, dictador. That, is, that is not the translation most of the time <laughs> as i said the intention right but how can we translate this word what do you think no self center no. is egocentric uh-huh it is that your attitude, attitude is your it's attitude that you say that that I say is the say that I if, if I say is is the the through or something like that. This is the. This is like imagine when you were kids or teenagers, <laughs> and your mom <laughs> says, "Hey, don't do that. It's not good for you." I I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't have a boyfriend. 
It's not good for you. I, I will have a boyfriend. Mm. <laughs> so, necio. <laughs> ah, so that Ay, is necio. basically necio, terco, terco right? ah, okay. so, burro. Burro. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> okay. A little donkey, testarudos, right? So, the, that's why I said, depending on the intention. Also, we can translate it like a rebel. I, this person, right? Very rebel. So most of the time, teenagers, <laughs> teenagers are like stubborn. And I mm -hmm. think that is normal at their age. Okay. Yes, not teenager. My son have, have, have he's, he's six, six years and he's, <laughs> he is a stumber. <laughs> it's a red stumber. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So look at these guys. We have different words here, different adjectives for some characteristic of good leader. Some of these are positive, some of these are negatives. Take note. Did you copy? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, pretty good. Copy because we are going to use them. Now, I have here another definitions that we can use when we are talking about leadership. So I want it to match. For example, if I want to say demonstrate, I mean, demonstrate something, what is that? Maybe to show how to do. To show how to do. How to do. Everybody, do you agree? Yes, of course. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to see the answers and then if you want to change, we can do it, no problem. Then I have recognize, recognize something. What is that? Mm, maybe letter D, the show appreciation. To show appreciation. Appreciation. What do you think guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, wake up everybody, wake up, wake up. Okay, um, how about authorize? Authorize something, where is that? Authorize. What do you think? Give official give permission. Official. Uh -huh. Okay, to give official permission? Yes, official permission. Okay, okay. How about supervise? Uh, to watch, to watch someone or something uh, to make sure things are yeah, done letter correctly. Letter. Yes. yes. So to watch someone or something to make sure things are done correctly. All right. Now clarify some. Thing. What is that? Make something. Mm. Make make something easier to understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Think about your supervisor. Does your supervisor clarify the activities that you have to do? No. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Sometimes. No. In the practice, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So tell them guys, you can invite your supervisors to our classes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> delegate. What is that? The last one to give part of your job to someone else in the company mm. to do it for you. So everybody, are you sure about this answer or do you want to change any of them? That's correct for me. Okay. Nelson says that all of them are correct. And you guys, do you agree? I agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yes, totally. So we are going to use these words, copy them. So demonstrate. Look, if you want to explain the definition, si se fijan, ¿qué preposition estamos usando? 
two. We don't use four. Ah, what is demonstrate? Ah, demonstrate something is for show, no. If you want to give definitions, we always say two. Okay, important, be careful. Any questions about these words? Nope. You sure? Okay, did you copy the phrases? Everybody? Yes? Yes. Okay, you can take a screenshot, no problem. Because we are going to use these words, demonstrate, recognize, authorize, supervise, clarify, and delegate. So we are going to use them because in these phrases, look, I have some sentences here, and I wanted to put the correct words in each sentence. So imagine if I say, if an employee is confused by your instructions, you will need to, hmm, what do you think? Explain it. Explain, but remember, Clarify. we need to use, we need to use these words. I don't Clarify. have explain here. Okay. okay. Clarify. Clarify, what do you think guys? So your class may say clarify. What do you think? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, right? So I will give you four minutes, okay? Read the sentences, try to pick the correct words, and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not, okay? You have four minutes. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know. Read carefully, everyone. Remember, try to identify the keywords. That's the secret. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully, read carefully. Remember, keywords. It's not necessary to understand the full sentence. Keywords, right?
You ready, everybody? Or no yet? No yet. No yet? Yeah. Okay, I will give you more time, no worries. Everybody, do the activity, please. I will ask you randomly. So, do the exercise. If you have a question, just let me know. All right, everyone, ready? Yes, a little bit. All right, well, let's verify the answers because I mean, we don't have a lot of time. So an effective manager knows how to what do you think, guys? What answer do you have in the number two? I think is delegate. Delegate. Okay. And you, everybody, do you agree or do you have another option? I agree with Fatima, delegate, I think. And actually, yes, that's the correct one. Very good. So, Delegate so they can have enough time to do all their job. Pretty good, excellent. Number three, volunteer for reading, please. Good morning, oh, sorry. Uh huh. Continue, please. A good manager should know the work they employees doing. Reward them for it. Okay, so you say no. Okay, but no is not here in the vocabulary. Remember, you have okay. to use these words. So everybody, what do you think? You Maybe think that recognize. Is recognize. Recognize? Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes, actually, that is the one recognize the work that their employees do. Okay, volunteer for reading, number four, please. The manager's style is to uh, supervise closely, maybe, okay. while others prefer to take a step back. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Supervise? Yes, I agree, supervise. Definitely. Excellent job. Number five, volunteer for reading, please. Can I? Yes. My co-worker will demonstrate the process so you can then practice it yourselves. Yourselves. Okay, yourselves. Yourselves. Okay, so my coworker will demonstrate. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, 
No? Yes, I agree. Actually, yeah, that's the correct one. Pretty good job. And the last one, volunteer for reading, please. Uh huh. Only one, please. Oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me, okay. <laughs> May I? Yes, please, go ahead. Okay, managers have to authorize. Authorize? A lot of, uh -huh. authorize. A lot of tasks on a day to day basis. This frustrates employees. Yes, that's the one. So, it's guys, have you ever suffered that when your managers? gives you a lot of work <laughs> imagine you have a lot of things to do daily and plus that is giving you extra work have you ever suffered that situation mm -hmm. yes or yes. not okay. yes yes <laughs> definitely right so vocabulary okay please don't forget it is it clear the vocabulary, guys? Teacher, I I, I don't understand the phrase on, on a day to day. And oh. the last one, on a day to day bas basin. basis. I, I, I don't I don't mean it. What happens here, guys, is in your job, you have your daily activities. Ya tienen establecido que es lo que van a hacer día tras día. Yes or no? Yes? Yeah, yeah. In yes, this sure. scenario says that the managers have to authorize a lot of tasks. So, les añaden más tareas on a day-to-day -day basis. So, that means que en su día a día, en sus actividades diarias, les añaden a lot of tasks. Uh, and the other words, uh... Uh, other activities. What do you mean? Uh, a lot of tax, tasks is... Uh, oh, tasks is like activities. Activity, activity, uh, yeah, activity. Yes. So mm -hmm. that means that the manager gives you a lot of activities plus your daily activities. Es decir, que día a día les añaden más activities okay that's that's the phrase that is the meaning of a lot of tasks on a daily on a day-to-day -day basis okay mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah are you sure really? so rem in this case remember task que significa task what is that meaning since that none of the functions Functions, work, Tarea. homeworks, activity, assignments. So, in this case, muchas homeworks, right? Muchas tareas que tienen que hacer cuando? Daily, every day. Daily. Remember that that is the meaning of day to day basis. Yes. Okay. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. Okay, so everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay, Carlos Abrego. Okay, um, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Germán Alexander. Present. Very good. Um, Isabel Hernandez. Present. Okay. Ivan Guzmán. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Girón. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Is not there? Lucy Natalie. Okay. Uh, Magdaleno. Oh, he's not here. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Nelson Antonio. 
Present. All right. And Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay, pretty good. So we don't have a lot of time. We only have 10 minutes. So we are going to go to the breaking rooms and we are going to discuss some questions, okay? So, but yeah, we don't have a lot of time. If we don't finish to answer these questions, we are going to continue tomorrow, okay? So no worries. I'm sending it on WhatsApp's group. And remember everybody, this is a speaking time. I need to everybody participates. Okay, try to enter to the breaking rooms and let's talk. We don't have a lot of time. It will be very quick. So try to do it. I'm opening the rooms and remember zero Spanish. Let's go to practice. I'm going there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Herman. Hello. Hello, Herman. Hello. We can start. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, the question is what leadership qualities do you think you have? Um, I think. Oh, but these qualities is a, is about the the example teacher. Uh -huh. game. Yeah, flexible. Um, uh, controlling. Um, something. Okay, I I don't have that screenshot. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, maybe you you try, try to talk about what qualities do you think you have about you can the, share you can share yeah? that uh -huh. about the leadership please okay no I don't have a I only write all okay. I'm words. sending I'm sending them on WhatsApp's group. Okay, thank you, Miss. So remember that there we have some positive and negative adjectives. Yes. yes. So I already Maybe sent it. Wolf. Uh -huh. yeah. I think I I'm um, in positive, uh, flexible, uh, like like likeable, likable. But this is about like you. Yeah. You as a leader, what characteristics yeah. do you have? What do you think? Are you likable? Are you flexible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you, Rosalina? I, okay, I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am very competitive, but mm -hmm. sometimes flexi flexi flexible. Flexible, okay. And sometimes controlling with my those people. Mm, okay. I accept the situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. What about negative? Ah. Negative. Yeah, controlling for me, for you? I don't know. Tell me. Controlling too. <laughs> controlling. <laughs> Ooh, my Maybe goodness, it's... guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's very common, no? Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Uh, the next, the next. You have the leader a group and make a difference with your decisions, but also it's a hard, <laughs> hard job <laughs> because you take a lot of responsibility in your hands. So that's yeah. my. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I think is a. Uh, 
big job because needs um efforts mm -hmm. with the people and don't ha has controlling or or a stubborn, stubborn person mm -hmm. uh, it's a difficult job because don't don't have much more much time free yeah It's a stressful job. <laughs> Can I say time free or free time? Free time. Yes. <laughs> That's the one. Fine. Be careful. Yes. For me, it's a it's a good job, but it's a go it's a a big a big res responsibility. You have you have to be very very careful, and you have you have a lot of responsibility. But if you like, it's okay because you 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 have a good a good uh, salary. And I think that motivate. Is it is a good word if you are a leader, but if you are a boss, it's not good. <laughs> Because the rest of the people on the employer tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe it's, it's interesting, but uh, you have to be careful in your decision. Decision with your team is difficult for, for that reason. I don't know. It's yeah, my opinion. You're... Yes, you think that this better is you think that the being a manager is good. Yes? Yes, it's good, but it's difficult to keep our our a company <clears throat> because we have to to have a be careful decision. Yes, and it's difficult because maybe you have a, a competitor, the rest of your co-workers maybe. <laughs> Yes. And you have to, to. All right, time's up. We are going to go back to the main room and wait for everyone. All right, time's up everybody. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. All right, very talkative. I like that. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time, right? So tomorrow we will continue talking and discussing these questions, okay? Easy or difficult, the questions, what do you think? Easy. Easy. Yes. Yes, everybody? Time, yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So because of the time, right, we cannot continue answering all the questions. But as I said, tomorrow we will continue. OK, so no worries about it. Now, guys, uh, we don't have more time. We are going to stop right here. The winner for today is <laughs> it starts with the letter R. <laughs> So, Rosalina, you have to stay. The rest of you guys, you can go to sleep. Have a beautiful night. Work on the platform, please. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Thank everyone. Thank you. Good night.
See you. Good, good night. night. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> good night, good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay, Miss, how are you? <laughs> I'm happy to see you here. How are you? Oh, it's so hard. I have only 18 years before the games and then... 18 second. years or days? 18 de de days. Aha. Uh -huh. Two weeks. <laughs> you say years, 18 I years. <laughs> yeah, it's my stressful. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, is it ready or... Do you have a lot of things to do? Mm. It's <laughs> ready. Oh Believe my gosh. No. No. And, but anyway, the the yesterday, for that reason I didn't stay in the, in the class. Mm -hmm. the conference was say no five thousand athletes come. Near eight thousand. But why? What happened? Because a lot of looking for a marcas, I don't know what brands, they say. Brands. Brand, brands for Olympic Games. And they didn't find any brands? Uh, no. Oh. Then, then um, a lot of international famous athletes come to El Salvador. And then he's so happy for that. Uh, My son, for example, look at that. I imagine. Uh, is he nervous or he's more than ready? Right now, tell me because uh, he goes, he, he come to the last Friday uh -huh. and then the, the, the second day, training, training, training. And told yeah. me very safe, safe, safe. Mm -hmm. in, in here, in himself, 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 in he thinking, uh, put the brand. Okay, and I think I, that that uh, is that is difficult, right? Uh, but, it's so, so difficult because on, it's a second sentence. Sentence about second is the uh, difference. Ah, okay, and, and that is middle. true. It's just. Oh my gosh, it's just a second. The like second a, like a, how do you say uña? Nail? <laughs> like a nail. <laughs> yes, that's true. How old is your son? Uh, 17. Yeah, he's, he's pretty it's young. Years. It's yeah, years. definitely. I, I'm not his family, but I feel like very excited about yeah. him. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, it's, yeah. So I go in that in the in the same and then mm -hmm. but, well i wish him the best and i wish that he can win and, and <laughs> got some medals and i know i know that you have been working a lot so i appreciate that you still make the effort to stay here in the class you still make the effort to participate so that's great you are doing great and i i admire you because i know that you might be exhausted a lot of things in your mind but even yes. though you are here <laughs> yeah. right so. now the topic is very interesting yesterday i think i lost a lot about information but mm -hmm. i reviewed the video class mm -hmm. for for learning to understand because yeah. you you explain not all the the book you improve yeah and it's nice for me i like the <laughs> class i told you thank you and yeah i know that if we read only the manual it can be a little bit you know boring or boring, a boring. little bit confusing and repetitive the same yeah so i always try to <laughs> check something different right to explain in a different way so it's kind of difficult because it takes time to prepare this class specifically but I want to do it. I like to do it because you are doing a big effort. I know that you come from work and you are tired and you are connecting. I mean, I have to give you something interesting. At the contrary, you will go to sleep in the middle of the class, right? So. Yeah. I yes, I so I have one question. Mm -hmm. uh, could you give 
give me a son page and then in where I look at the practice exercise for grammar because it is my, my weakness. Mm -hmm. Actually, wow, I can give you a lot of links. <laughs> Yeah, there are different. Let me share with you the websites that I recommend. Specifically, grammar, no listening, right? Uh -huh, no grammar. I okay, think. I have two. <laughs> I got this and I have this. I'm going to send a link on a private message. Okay. 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 Look, this website, this is the list. These are all of the grammar uh -huh. topics that you can have here. Uh -huh. So, for example, if you want to practice, uh, okay, models, okay? Mm -hmm. Or if you want to practice a uh, grammar tenses, specifically simple past. I want to practice simple past, negative and questions. You just click on there and you will have the exercises. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. The good thing about this, this website is that you can check your answers if they are correct or not. And they will explain why the mm -hmm. specific answer is why is correct or why it is not correct. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty nice website. Uh, you can see the explanation of the topic, look, and you can have the exercises. So mm -hmm. I recommended okay. this one. This okay. other website also is good. You just have to pick the topic that you want to practice. Imagine first conditional, okay. In this scenario, something that I don't like about this is the advertisement. There are a lot of advertisement, mm -hmm. but even though you can see some explanation, uh, sometimes not all the topics, but some topics can have some videos in order to understand it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Then you can see some examples. And at the end, uh, if you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, here you can have the exercises. So okay. click in the exercise that you prefer. <laughs> and again, you can complete the exercise and check answers. Check the answers. Mm -hmm. okay. So these okay. are specifically for grammar. I'm going to send it, okay? Okay, thank Pretty you. Good. You're very welcome. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question. No, only that. Okay, pretty good. I don't want to take more time because I know that you are tired. You deserve to sleep and rest. So Rosalina, thank you so much for staying in the class. Thank you for always participate. Keep going. I know that is not easy, but we can do it, okay? Yeah. Pretty thank good. You. Good night, right. Miss. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you.